the only other congenital heart disease that is asynotic normally, but which again can develop this Eisenmenger complex, is called a patent ductus arteriosus. A PDA, and that is precisely what you see, third one on that list, a patent ductus arteriosus. Now that is of some importance because it's the connection between the aorta and the pulmonary arteries. It goes directly through. The pressure in the aorta is obviously much higher than the pulmonary artery, so the flow is normally in that direction. We all have a patent ductus arteriosus before we are born. And what we do is, we close it off when we are born, when the lungs begin to function. I said that's what normally happens. In some patients, this doesn't happen. And if it doesn't, then you're left with a large fistula between the pulmonary arteries and the aorta. And that puts an enormous load on the right side of the heart. Because it's got this normal blood flow or this vast blood volume from the right ventricle and this important contribution from the aorta. And if you were to listen to these patients, you will hear a murmur arise. And it lasts throughout the whole of the cardiac cycle, which is sometimes called the machinery murmur. Shh, 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 this sort of noise. Or if you like, you can put a catheter in the heart and show that the chambers on the right side, which should have desaturated hemoglobin, deoxygenated blood, have a higher oxygen content because of the flow from the aorta. Or if you like, you can pick this defect up by the Doppler ultrasound. If they came to you for dental treatment or surgical procedure previously, patients with a patent ductus arteriosus pose the risk for infective endocarditis and ought to have been put on prophylactic antibiotics. However, in light of the NICE guidelines in 2014, patients with a PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, no longer pose a risk for infective endocarditis and do not need to be put on prophylactic antibiotics. This is repaired surgically or it can be treated surgically by closing up the ductus itself and this usually happens in the aorta, just below the left subclavian.